All right, so in this video, we're going to take this image and really up, kind of apply a really exaggerated, blown out highlight effect. And probably something you've seen on movie posters and such like that. It's a really cool effect, and you'd be surprised how easy it is to achieve. So on this image, what I need to do first is actually load the luminosity values as a selection, which is basically the highlight areas. And to do that, keyboard shortcut for that is simply holding on the Option Command or Alt Control and then pressing the little tilde key, which is a little wavy line key next to the number one on your keyboard. So simply press those, load the luminosity, and then we're going to go to the Channels palette. And I'm going to create a new alpha channel. And then we're going to fill that active selection with white. White is set as my background color here, so I'm just going to press Command Delete, Control Backspace, and that will fill that area in. Now, I'm going to invert the selection. Go under Select Menu and go to Inverse, and that will flip the selection, and now the darker areas are selected. And with back, uh, black as set as my foreground color, I'm just going to press Option Delete, Alt, Backspace, fill that area in just once. Now, I'm going to go under Select again, and this time inverse the selection one more time. We're back selected on the highlighter areas. So now we're going to fill with white. We're going to do it a number of times. We're actually going to fill this selection with white four times. So I'm going to press Command Delete. One, two, three, four. There we have that. Now I'm just going to deselect. Press Command or Control D. Now, I have a lot of area in here that I'm not going to need for the effect I'm going to try to achieve here. So I'm going to go over here and get my paintbrush. Make sure that I have white set as my foreground color. And I'm going to use my bracket keys to increase my brush size here a little bit. And let's go ahead and paint these areas out with white. Because we're working on an alpha channel, white areas will be activated as selections. And you know, of course, gray areas as well. And all the really dark, and all the fully black areas will not be an active selection. So I'm just going to paint, air, paint out these areas I'm not really wanting to achieve my effect here. I'm going to grab my Move tool. I'm just going to move this over just a little bit so the face has got a little bit more of the black on the side here. Let me get my Selection tool here, my rectangular selection. I'm just going to draw a box right up in here, right up until we get to the edge of our chin there, right inside that black area. I'm just going to fill that with black, plus uh, Command Delete, and we'll deselect. So there is pretty much my finished face on an alpha channel. Now, when I bring this into my layers, I'm going to want to fill the area that's black and gray as a c with a color. So when if, I have to, if I activate this alpha channel as a selection now, it's going to select all those white and gray areas that I don't want. So I simply need to invert the values of this alpha channel. So I'm just going to press Command or Control I, and that will invert the values. It'll load that ch alpha channel as a selection. Pressing command, holding down my command or control key, clicking on that channel. I'm going to go reactivate my composite channel, go back into my layers. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go into my color picker here, and I'm just going to select a dark color, or whatever color you choose is certainly up to you. I'm going to go with a really dark blue here, and we'll click OK. I'm just going to option delete, fill that uh, selection with that color, and we'll deselect. I'm going to create a new layer right beneath that active layer. So I'm going to do that by holding down my Command or Control key and then clicking on the new layer icon. Then I'm going to fill this entire layer with white. Since white is set as my background, I'm just going to press Command Delete. There we have that. So you can really start to see we're getting a really cool effect here. So now, all I really want to do now is just colorize those eyes a little bit, just to give it a little bit you know, difference in there. So I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit more. I'm going to create a new layer above this active blue fill. Create the layer there. Go over here into my color picker, and we're going to get kind of a green color. And I'm going to change. go ahead and change my layers blending mode to color. Now let's get our paintbrush. And let's say we're going to need a lot smaller brush. I'm going to use my bracket key and get this down to a considerable size there. I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Now, it does look a little harsh, and that's no problem, because I'm just going to adjust that by changing the opacity of that layer. I'm going to simply use the scrubby slider. I'm going to drop that opacity down quite a bit, actually. I'm going to, let's, let's try 25%. Well, 
well, maybe a little bit more. Let's try 40. That looks pretty good. All right, so we'll zoom out. And that pretty much completes the effect. I told you it was easy. All you really have to do now is just drop some text in, which I've already you know, set up here. And there you have a really cool, finished, really intriguing design. And it all started with that simple photograph and turned in to a really cool design. So, like I said, give it a try yourself. It'll certainly work on almost any photograph. So you're always going to get a different effect altogether, but see what you can come up with, and we'll see you again.